Hello everyone, welcome back to Inside Science Analytica. So I'm really happy that you people like this initiative. I read the comments and it gave me boost to come up with more innovative ideas in the future. So as we discussed question from GS1 last time, I thought why not pick up question from GS3 that is science and tech. So before taking up the question, first analyze how important the science and tech is. So if you analyze question from 2018 to 2021, you'll see that usually three to four questions UPSC ask. Okay, so it becomes quite important. You can't ignore this section. So UPSC understands that not everyone from science background right means. Okay, so what they do is they usually give this anal analysis based questions. Like you can see easy questions about understanding nanotechnology and how it is helping the health sector. Then uh, this year they asked about applied biotechnology and how it will uplift the poor sections of the society. So this with minimum knowledge, you could have written this answer. But what happens is once in a while, they give this tough questions, which was asked in 2018 about this Bose-Einstein statistics and how it will how it revolutionized the field of physics. So through this particular video, what I'm trying to show is with minimum knowledge of science, how you can address these type of tough questions, okay? Uh, so uh, this was the two questions which was considered to be tough this year. One was about S400 air defense system and another was invention of blue LED. So usually S400 we might have read from prelims perspective. So it was hard to write 150 words under this particular question. And the question on invention of blue LED, it was out of blue, but we'll see that it was not actually out of blue. There was a reason why this question might have been asked by UPSC. So let's take this particular question this uh, in this video. So the question, I'll read it out once. The Nobel Prize in Physics of 2014 was jointly awarded to Akasaki, Amano and Nakamura for the invention of blue LEDs in 1990s. How has this invention impacted the everyday life of human beings? This was a 15 marker. I have given the photos of these scientists here. And uh, as we did in the previous video, we'll try to analyze why this question might have been asked by UPSC. So last year in April, this particular scientist Akasaki died. And that's why uh, the topic of LED might have popped up again. Or if one was not aware of this current affairs, then uh, as I said, analyzing previous year questions is a must before starting answer writing. It was asked in 2016 mains about importance of national program on light emitting diode. Now, even apart from mains, it, LED was asked in prelims also. Like if someone has written this year prelims that is 2021, there was a question on sodium lamps, how, uh, sodium, how do sodium lamps differ from LED lamps? So what you can get from this is that prelim, the Preparation of prelims and mains go hand in hand. You can't prepare, prepare for prelims before and then start with mains later because you know sometimes these kind of questions they ask in mains also. Okay, so uh, let's address the question. As I did in the previous video, first the most important thing is to underline the keywords of the question. I've highlighted them in red here and then uh, understand what the directive means and I'll give you the syllabus. So the here, the as I read the question before, I won't read it again. So the uh, keywords were invention of blue LED. They have given this sentence, Nobel Prize in Physics, and they have given uh, that invention of blue LED. They have given this so that we can address or understand why this question was asked and then how was the directive here and how it impacted the everyday life of human beings. This was the core part of the qu question. What I'll be doing is I'll give you syllabus each and every time so that this is for freshers so that whenever you read newspaper, you would know that what portion to read, what is important and what is not important because time is very precious in UPSC preparation. Okay, so once we have underlined the keywords, next we would see the question was about Nobel Prize. Okay, Nobel Prize in Physics of 2014. So let's see why Nobel Prize is given. Like it's for your understanding. So usually it is given uh, in the field of physics, chemistry, medicine, literature and peace. And to those people who have conferred the greatest benefit to humankind. It could be any kind of invention which is beneficial to human beings. For them, Nobel Prize is given. This was Alfred Nobel. Okay, so let's see now what kind of introduction. As I said in the previous video, there are many types of introduction. But uh, with someone who is not from science background, they would not know what LEDs are, what semiconductors are, what are diodes, what kind of introduction you would have written here. So LEDs, like from someone who don't know what LEDs are, they, they could write like LEDs are light emitting devices which are efficient and durable. Okay, they have revolutionized human lives in unprecedented ways from bulbs to laptops to mobile screens, anything. 
and that is why this particular invention was given Nobel Prize in 2014. This was see, I just picked up the points from question itself. I did not use any big technical jargons here. So, you can write this type of in, uh, introduction also if you do not have any knowledge. Now, with knowledge, what kind of introduction you could have written? Before uh, writing that, I will explain this why this invention of blue LED was important in the first place. So, when we were kids, we used to mix colors like primary colors we would mix and we would uh, create this secondary colors. It was quite uh, exciting for us. Same thing happens with light. So, there are three primary colors of light, green, red and blue. Okay. So, uh, this white light, creation of white light was very important because already fluorescent lamps were there and white light, we can work in under white light for quite a long time. Warm light, uh, we feel frustrated after a some, after some time. So, create, creation of warm light was quite, uh, white light was quite important. Now, what happened was like green and red was already invented in 50s and 60s. But uh, this invention of blue light was little bit tricky. The scientists in America knew that the cre key ingredient of uh, creation for creation of blue light was gallium nitride. But uh, when they were uh, trying uh, with that, they were getting this tinkering blue light. It was not stable enough. So, they left their research there itself. But these three scientists, they did not leave the research, these Japan, Japanese scientists, they continued with gallium nitride. What they did was that they added other impurities into it like magnesium and because of which they got this bright blue light. Okay, So, now the spectrum of primary colors was complete and we got the white light, desired white light that we wanted. Not only white light, now we could create n number of colors, yellow, pink, blue, you could see how many colors of LEDs we get now. Okay, So, this was the basic significance of why the invention of blue LED was important. Now, with this knowledge, let us write the introduction to. So, if someone from uh, who know what LEDs are, they could define LEDs first. So, what are LEDs? LEDs are light emitting diodes which release light when electricity is passed through them. Now, I will tell what diodes are. Diodes are actually semiconductor devices which let electricity to flow in one particular direction but restricts in other direction. You can see the direction here. So, those are diodes. So, these LEDs are light emitting diodes. This is the definition of LED. Then what you can write is about blue LEDs because the question was about blue LED, you write about blue LED. So, that for white light, we already had green and red LED which was invented in 1950s and 60s but missing was blue light. These trio of scientists invented blue light and that blue LED and that is why they were given Nobel Prize in 2014. See with knowledge this type of introduction you could have written. Okay. Now, this was one of the sentence which intrigued me. It was given when the, this trio were given Nobel Prize, the Nobel Committee has said incandescent light bulbs lit the 20th century but 21st century will be lit by LED lamps. You can see how from oil lamp we have progress towards LEDs which give us higher luminescence now. That is why this is revolutionary. Now, as we have done with the introduction, let us see how to address the body. So, the, as, as, as I said, the subheading should be generated from the question itself. The first sentence was about Nobel Prize in uh, physics was given uh, to these three scientists. So, let us take as that as one of the subheading. Why Nobel Prize was awarded to the invention of blue LEDs? Because the invention was revolutionary as it completed the spectrum of primary colors as I explained before. Then it redefined the lighting industry itself. Now, we have so many types of lights, No many uh, photovoltaic industries popped up. Then it overcame the issue of tinkering blue light which was very hard. They had me large amount of money invested in that but because of the invention of blue LED, now we have white lights widespread impact on everyday life of human beings, mobile phones, digital digital uh, the screens. Uh, you know in COVID times when all everything was locked down, uh, education moved uh, into online phase, work from home. That time only through these laptops and PCs we could work. So, see how it has impacted our life itself. So, once we are done with the significance of uh, why this uh, particular invention was given Nobel Prize, now let us see how the invention of blue LED has impacted our human life. This was the core part of the answer. So, now I do not know anything about uh, like I am not able to brainstorm in the exam why uh, like how blue LED will impact my life. So, what I will think is okay, I will go to a shop, I will buy a bulb so like LED lamp. Why will I prefer LED in place of incandescent light or this fluorescent lamp? Because I know that it is cost efficient, it is efficient and durable. How is, how is it cost efficient? It is reducing my electricity consumption. Okay, I know that if I use fluorescent lamp, my electricity consumption is going to increase. But if I use LED, it is reducing my electricity consumption. That is how it is 
giving me cost saving that's why government is pushing towards this ujala scheme and giving us led as, at subsidized rate okay next is efficient and durable it is 10 10 times more efficient than traditional lights multiple applications we have n number of applications here from phones to laptops to now we have curved tvs oleds okay that's how it has multiple, multiple applications in medical device also there are medical sensors which work on LEDs then reachable to far areas how is it reachable to far areas so we have the solar lamps which we can recharge through solar light the lamps inside them are of LEDs so what happens is that there are many villages which still don't have proper supply of electricity for them for that those areas LEDs have revolutionized their like power consumption now next is environment and economy how it is impacting our environment so there is reduced consumption of reduced emission of co2 now as we are consuming electricity less so we are releasing a, a co2 into the environment less next is we are not using fluorescent lamps now which had mercury in it so release of mercury into the environment has been reduced now next is economy many industries have popped up creation of jobs so that's how the blue led in, invention of blue leds has in, uh, the impacted human lives okay now these were the general points that i could brainstorm you see how i brainstorm i just knew environment may just generate points this way okay now there are other points also like there are smart light, smart leds which changes colors according to our mood we just we just have to give the voice command and they'll change the color this is because of revolutionary leds only okay now as we have discussed about the positive impact as i said in the previous video that when we have to discuss impact let's give positive and negative impact both so there are some negative impacts as well right so what could be the negative impact here first would be on humans themselves so how could it impact humans so let's see when we were kids our parents would ask us not to use mobile phones at night the, the, they would not tell they will just tell us you will not be able to sleep the reason would be that what happens is uh, blue light the devices emit blue light but one thing to understand is that blue light is actually present in natural light also and it is beneficial for us because it releases this hormone in our eyes which keeps us alert and it's better that we are alert during daytime because we have to work but at night time when we are using these digital devices this hormone is releasing again and that's why we are it is impacting our sleep cycle our body cycle itself is getting impacted so that's one of the negative impact of leds on human beings in animals animals how it is impacting like uh, their breeding cycle is getting impacted the babies like we read about olive uh, ridley turtles how after hatch uh, hatching the babies get attracted to light so that's how it is impacting their breeding cycle then uh, there is import increasing import to uh, countries which don't have the semiconductor in well established semiconductor industry so it is increasing their import uh, import burdens okay these are some of the negative impacts of leds so once we are done with the body part now see how let how we can address the conclusion so in this normally in science tech what happens is that you should give a futuristic conclusion we already know that it is india is pushing towards digital india we are already in the digital era so what uh, what already we have blue led in place and we know white led is there so what we can do is we can use this particular in li fi then uh, quantum technology light can be used as a unit for qubit like we can use this in those applications also or we can write is government should push towards uh, creating an environment for these type of industries to pop up and if we we can write data also like world 20 percent of electricity is being consumed because of lighting so if we shift towards leds this would reduce to four percent these are some of the type of conclusion that we can write like about futuristic or with data okay so after we address conclusion i read in comments that many of you wanted me to give sample answer so i'll just provide it here and it these are the points that i have already discussed before but written in a way proper way okay so they are light emitting system they were evolutionary human beings okay this was the introduction with knowledge that giving the definition of what leds are and uh, why blue led was important okay this was the second introduction the body why nobel prize was awarded to this particular invention all the points that we have discussed before that only i have written here in a better way one thing that you should be noting down here is i am not writing random points i am substituting my points with examples or datas that is always important that's why i have provided datas here okay so these are high applicability reachability to far areas then on environment how it is uh, reducing co2 emission reduce release of toxic mercury and environment it is creating jobs 
then lifestyle the uh, i told about the smart leds then uh, there are water purification systems in future which would work on leds okay so these are some of the positive impact now negative impact as i explained before human health animals on import increased import dependence see i'm substituting my points with either data or examples you should always do this now conclusion also same thing that we discussed before you can note down points from here thank you so much